LaSalle, this is Tony Brothers. Um, I just wanted to wish you well in your next endeavor. I'm actually sad to see you go, but you know, if there's brighter pastures, I definitely want you to realize those. I just wanted to take this time to thank you for the story that you did on Men for Hope and helping bring an exposure to our cause. And if there's anything that we can do in the future, just let us know. Thank you and good luck. Tony oh, Brothers, yeah. Oh, awesome. uh, that's just one of many people who <laughs> want to say thank you. Tonight, we say a fond farewell to our friend and colleague, LaSalle Blanks. He's headed back to his hometown of New Haven, Connecticut, where he's joining the staff of WTNH-TV. I said that right? Yes, an okay. ABC affiliate, just Very like 13 good. News Now. Okay. While this Yankees fan blew into town in February of 1997, and initially, a lot of people had a tough time getting his name right. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sal Bank? Sal Banks? I don't even make no sense. You're talking about a person, right? LaSalle Banks? LaSalle Blanks? LaSalle Blanks, the Northwestern grad, was the first anchor of local news on cable or LNC. He covered stories during the afternoon and then dashed off to the Virginian Pilot Newsroom for a live show on Cox Cable. It was a first in the market. Good morning, everyone. It is very early on this Tuesday morning. LaSalle was later promoted to the position of morning show anchor. Carol Hoffman, Brittany Suddeth, Janet Roach, and Vanessa Coria shared the set with LaSalle for a tighten your seat belt and keep both hands in the right show that won multiple Emmy Awards. Did I mention he's a Yankees fan? Well, back in the year 2000, LaSalle would stay up late at night to watch his Yankees beat the Mets to win the World Series. With an energy level that can be described as nuclear, LaSalle could anchor and practically write and produce the show from the set. And when he wasn't on the set, it was for a good reason. From Boston to Baltimore to New York and all the way across the pond to London, LaSalle took viewers on exciting tours with ties to Hampton Roads. History. This is the very spot where 105 brave men left for Jamestown nearly 400 years ago. Taking excitement memorial, to the extreme, LaSalle even posed as a man overboard in the frigid Pasquatank River. A Coast Guard search and rescue team pulled LaSalle to safety. Jennifer Lopez, you look great. Thank you. Thank LaSalle interviewed numerous celebrities, including J-Lo and Wheel of Fortune's Pat Sajak and Vanna White, Regis Philbin, the women of The View, and he even made a cameo appearance on the former ABC soap opera All My Children. Ms. K, tell us about the mask. He met basketball star Ellen Iverson on the softball field, Frank Beamer at Virginia Tech, and national slugger Ryan Zimmerman in Virginia Beach. We're doing it for them. He met with former President Bill Clinton on the kickball field and former President Jimmy Carter via satellite. We're going to get personal with you, Mr. Carter. <laughs> He's had numerous important assignments over the years, but LaSalle is most proud of two franchises that reshaped how we think about what it means to be part of the village called Hampton Roads. Starting with Rachel's challenge, he showed us the faces of teens who were doing their part to show love and compassion in the region's schools. A few years ago, he launched Making Your Mark that airs on 13 News Now at 4. For two years, LaSalle made his mark with his heartfelt stories of determination, ingenuity, integrity, strength, humor, and love. He is one of the hardest working men in the business on and off the screen. If there was a cause in Hampton Roads, LaSalle put his fingerprints on it. From children's charities to help for veterans, LaSalle was selfless in advancing so many organizations that embrace those in need. Now that's what he did for you, the viewer. Now let me tell you what he did for us. We like to think of LaSalle as our commander in chief for all things that are fun. LaSalle took us bowling with Mets star David Wright, reminded us that our glory years are behind us on the softball field, and managed to sneak in lots of free food on the set. He is the Yankees fan whose name you will never forget. Good luck, LaSalle Blanks. Good luck, LaSalle Blanks. I've been Good called luck, LaSalle Blanks. LaSalle oh. Blanks. We love you all. Oh. So many that, great stories. Hang on. Yes. Hang on. You, can't, oh. you can't take that. <laughs> but now, as oh. you can imagine, you know, so many people here. Mm -hmm.
at the station, people in the community, they want to say goodbye and how much they're going to miss you. I caught up with many of them cool. over the last few days, as we see right here. So you're going to want to head over to the 13 News Now Facebook page to take a look at them thanking you. I will. Oh, for I, I, I know those your mark. Yeah. Look at there. You even have your own street sign. <laughs> and a gate, a sound <laughs> gate, right? Yeah, making your mark. Look at all of our friends, oh, our friends. On Hampton colleagues, Roads. Yeah. That's on our Facebook page. But one person, Regina, had yes. to come and do it in person. Oh, and there man. he is, yeah. Shaggy. Shaggy from Z104. Can we come back out to the live camera? Hey. So we got good news. You're not leaving because we're not going to allow it. We're not, oh, not going to allow it, right? No. Don't get me crying. Hi, oh, buddy. Oh, Let's get you together. Guys have paper done towel. So many projects together, Shaggy. Yes. Take us back a few years oh. ago when LaSalle helped you with Shagfest. Oh, well, nice, nice close up, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> So in 2014, oh, when um, I got uh, Pharrell for Shagfest, mm -hmm. LaSalle sends me a text. It's like 1.30 in the morning. And he sends me this text, and he says, please tell me it's Pharrell, and if it is, can I break the news? Now, if LaSalle hasn't or didn't uh, reach out to me numerous times in years past, uh -huh. I probably would have texted him and said, oh, I got to break it somewhere else. But uh, I sent him a text. I said, bro, run with it. He said, I'm running with it. Top of the morning. I said, it's all yours. So... Uh, wow. He's a stand-up guy. He's awesome, yeah. and uh, and I, I grew up watching him. And, and you've been in touch he, with Pharrell over the past few days. He I have. knows that Los so leaving. I got a text message. I showed Regina out front. Mm -hmm. He's sending a message, a video You're message. Kidding. He's sending it to my Gmail, but my Gmail got caught up. So <laughs> I have a message from Pharrell coming to you uh, oh. within the next 20, 30 minutes. Oh. So. Yeah. That we'll makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but they they asked me to come. We love you. Um, when I heard the news, I thought it was a bad April Fool's joke. Yeah. Um, but good luck so and I. come back and see us. I'm crying right now because Shaggy actually woke me up at 7 a.m. That's right. This morning, I was it's on your second time seeing him today. Um, Shaggy does so much great work for the community, and uh, it ain't about me. It ain't about me. No, no. It's all about you right now. It is all about you. So we it's appreciate you. It's all about you. getting me some tissue. You guys got me. Okay, we're gonna Shaggy, get some tissue. Thank you, buddy. I will have to do one thing before we go. Yeah. Okay. My, my, oh my bad. My wife and my kids are watching. They listen to me on the radio all the time. Yeah. But Brody and Bentley and Nikki, my wife. Look, my wife says you have to comb your hair for this out. Okay. This is the only time. Beautiful haircut. The only time for you. Do you remember when I had hair? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was in one of those pictures Regina showed. <laughs> I love well, you, Hampton Roads. Thank you. We Keep love watching. You too, LaSalle. Shaggy, thank you, man. And now we have to go to weather. I know, and you know, LaSalle, the bad news is it's not 73 degrees in New Haven, Connecticut, it's right? 